What's up all you beautiful lenders out there and potential lender partners. It's TJ, broker of Fitness Realty here. I'm gonna show you what our Google ad marketing campaign looks like. And so before we get started, I wanna just preface this. I know that there are a lot of confusing uh, ideas out there about how realtors and lenders can work together and co-marketing and branding and everything. Uh, but I wanna be very upfront and uh, transparent and honest with you guys. And that's why I'm doing a video so that I can show you everything about our marketing campaign. And so if this looks enticing to you, let me know. Come on board with us. Try it out for a couple months. If you hate it, that's fine. You can always jump off. There's a lot of benefits to our Google ad campaign, though. And a lot of that comes from our social media presence and our online presence as Fitness Realty is growing like crazy. And so this helps you tap into that. So without further ado, I want to kind of discuss uh, the one-way street that we talk about as real estate agents with lenders all the time. And you guys know, you've been in the business long enough, you know that realtors are the people that are networking all the time. We're out there cold calling, door knocking, or whatever to drum up business. And so we bring lenders the deals. There's, it's not a secret, right? We all know that's typically how it goes. You may get onesie twosies of a lender that just happens to meet somebody and then they bring the realtor partner a deal. But typically, we know you have 30 or 35 or 40 realtors in your back pocket that are helping bring you deals. That's the only way this job works, uh, or that's the only way this thing works because we are the ones out there networking and you need us to bring you deals. We see that and we understand that. So does RESPA and so does the government. They understand that realtors are always gonna try to get lenders to pay realtors for leads and they know that and so that's why the RESPA stuff is all illegal, right? You can't pay for direct leads. Now there's ways around that with co-marketing, branding, certain specific things like that. Um, but what we've found is that we are actually having lenders help us pay for our marketing campaigns and we don't promise you leads. So there's no way for me to promise you, well, you're gonna get 10 leads this month for $200. I can't do that. The way that we do that is we have a Google Jive line and when people call that, it actually dials all of my trained realtors on my staff all at the same time, plus our lender partners. And so you could be the lender partner that's just Johnny on the spot picking up the phone, and then you have access to all the leads because once somebody picks up the phone, they answer it the quickest, everyone else's phone goes dead. So if it's one of my realtors and they pick up the phone, boom, they're the fastest then they get the lead and they hand it off to one of our lender partners that they've built a relationship with. Hopefully that's you. If that's not you, then build a relationship with somebody on my staff or a bunch of my team members because we know you're gonna do that anyway because we know that you need us to bring you deals. So it's a strong uh, encouragement for you to do that. Build a relationship so when one of my realtors picks up the phone, they hand the lead to you. So it's really a win-win. Sometimes if our lender partners are faster on the phone and they pick up the lead though, and it's somebody who they want, uh, who wants to see a house right away, then they hand that off to the realtor partner that they like the best. And that we found that this works really well. So the thing that I promise is you'll have access to those leads. You have to do two things. One, pick up the phone the fastest. Number two, you have to convert that lead. Um, or build relationships with those people on my team that are faster on the phone uh, and make sure that they're bringing you that lead. So the cool part is, is we can avoid any RESPA violations because I'm not promising you any leads. I'm promising you access to those leads. There's not a count. There's not a number to it. I don't promise each person 10. So when, and, uh, when we actually go through this process, it feels kind of weird because you actually pool all your money together with us as our company and other lender partners. So Sometimes people feel like they didn't get what they paid for because they've been paying $200 a month and then um, it just they aren't fast on the phone. That's okay, right? You can always quit. We don't have a, co a contract. It's month to month. You stay if you like it. You go if you don't. All right. So first up, we have a $200 minimum. So if you were get to get started with us, it's $200 minimum per month. We set it on an invoice and it's just to set it and forget it. If you want to quit, you let me know before it goes out for the month and then we can close it at any time. For people that are seeing the value, you can increase your marketing spend at any time. So throughout the month, you can be like, hey, 
I want to go up to 400 for a while, then we just bump that up, no problem. I tweak your invoice. It's super, super easy to, to make happen. All right. I'm going to show you the Google Ads platform now that I've kind of covered what the, um, what the ad marketing campaign looks like. So this is our ad marketing campaign on uh, Google Ads. Right now, it's super, super low because for the last five months or so, our Google Ad account was locked because we had something happen with a different lender, and um, that's a long story. Um, so we have this right here so that you can see right now we're pumping all this ad marketing campaign money into it. But Google is not really able to advertise as effectively as we would like. And that is because we have a brand new ad and the algorithm has to relearn who our target market is. And so it's probably going to take three months to six months to get really fully invested in this algorithm. So if you're thinking like, oh, yeah, I mean, well, it looks OK, but, you know, I'd rather do it when it's fully up and running. That's perfectly fine. Let me know uh, in three months to six months or whatever. Um, it's February uh, at the time of shooting this. So if you're seeing the value though, and you're like, man, that's really cool. Let's do $200. It's a $200 minimum, like I said. So the ad campaign looks like this. Um, it's all about reliable real estate agents. We've found that the lender marketing side is very highly saturated with banks and refinance mortgages and so there's a lot more money to be spent there and so we don't want to play against like Goldman Sachs uh, Wells Fargo Mountain America right like behemoths of com uh, companies we don't want to play against them with their marketing spend because they can outspend us uh, infinitely and so we've tailored it to real estate agents with certain keywords that are for lenders as well so you kind of see we have our impression count it's kind of low I'm going to show you what our uh, impression count for the last year looked like before it actually shut down. So you can see we've got our search terms. Uh, I'm going to just go into this really quick so you can see our keyword themes. So we have themes for our keywords. So this is Google running its algorithm, relearning how to pump it out to our market. We've got real estate agents, Utah real estate houses, real estate broker, mortgage interest rates today. That's for you guys. Mortgage lender. That's for you guys. Buyer's agent, refinance mortgage. We know that eventually a refinance boom is going to come around again. Maybe it's in two years, three years, whatever. Um, but I want to make sure you guys are getting access to that. Houses for sale, realty, real estate investing, home loans. Uh, again, this one's for you guys. Realtor, real estate agencies, sell my property, relocation, townhouses, real estate agents online, real estate agent, and an excellent realtor. So those are just keyword themes. Google builds its algorithms around those themes. And so you can kind of see our search terms of reports. Our top search uh, item is real estate. Duh, that one's a really easy one to start pumping people to look at our ad. And then um, I usually go through this about once a week or so to make sure there's nothing on here that's kind of crazy. I'll probably take these two off, apartments for sale near me and apartments for sale. Those just don't really jive with what we have here. So I'll probably get rid of those eventually. You can see I've got some on the negative keyword themes right now. Um, and a lot of it has to deal with rentals because we just don't do that and we don't do property management anymore. I'm going to go back to the campaign screen really fast. So you can see uh, right now we've got one recommendation for some uh, relevancy on Google searches that has to deal with us using uh, too many keyword themes. That All it's going to do is open us up to more marketing. So that's why I've got it set that way. I won't change it. Um, this is what our ad kind of looks like. There's about 15 different uh, sayings and uh, words that are set up so that they randomly go through and Google learns what, uh, which ones of those perform better and starts pumping those to the people that are looking for us. Currently, we're running this in Washington County, so St. George, Hurricane area. Uh, we're doing Utah County, of course, Salt Lake County, Weber and Davis County, and then um, I think this one's also uh, Summit County, so like Park City. Um, and so we're running that in several different markets. We used to run that in Tooele County as well, but our main realtor moved from Tooele, so we're not running Tooele campaigns anymore. But as we get different realtors across the state of Utah, I usually tweak this and open up different markets depending on where they live. Currently, you can see our budget set to $16.50 daily. When I go back to the main screen, you'll see that we haven't spent that because, like I said, Google's relearning how to pump it to our market. 
one day when it's full bore, it'll actually spend more on days that people are looking for us. And on days that people aren't looking for us, it'll really minimize it. So some days we'll spend $80, some days like $5. Um, it just depends and it really gets effective later on uh, as the algorithm goes. So that's why like I've said it with all the parameters that I like in the past and I just set it and forget it, right? This is gonna be a one year long set. I won't change anything except for the search terms so that we can get rid of bad ones and then uh, target markets if we need to. And then as new people come on board or leave, we change our daily spend amount uh, based on that. So right now you can see we're spending 16 uh, 50 a day or we will eventually, which just kind of averages out to about $502 monthly. Typically, if we hit that, uh, you know, let's say we're fully up and running. If we hit that monthly spend limit, like on day 27, then the last of the month kind of just dies. But typically, Google was pretty good about spending it accurately through the month to hit that uh, this number uh, right at the end of the month. So you can see right now we're buying about uh, 170 to 330 ad clicks each month. I would say when we get fully up and running, $500 is going to buy us about, uh, let me see, I'm not good at uh, public math right now, right off the top of my head. So I'm just going to do this. So the old way when we were getting phone calls uh, very regularly, that would probably get us about 25 phone calls. So you can see it's not up to the level that we were at, but like I said, we've got to get to back, get back to where we were. Anyway, I can tweak this like on a whim. We can go up or down depending on who's coming on board or whatever. Here's our ad schedule. Like I said, oh, we run them from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturdays. Sundays, we don't run the ad. So the Jive line will only ring during these hours. It will not ring to your phone at all during off times. Um, let's see. Okay, we're still up and running. Um, let's see, make sure. Yep. All right, so now let's move from Google Ads to the Jive line itself. Like I said, you get paid ads. So those are phone calls that we get that are paid for. But you also get access to our organic leads because our uh, line is open on Google everywhere on our and on our Facebook page and so or, and on our website. And so if people call that organically, you get access to those as well. Here's all of our organic phone calls. So these come in uh, during those normal business hours because I have a schedule set so that they only come in during the business hours. So you get access to the paid leads, but you also get access to the organic leads, which at the height of it, let's say we're getting 70 phone calls of paid leads, we were probably getting about 100 phone calls of organic leads. And so it's pretty awesome. Now really fast when I say leads, there are telemarketers on there, of course, so you know we have to fight through that. But uh, at the height of it, we were running about four deals a month out of the Jive line that I knew about. Um, and people have to tell me that it came from the Jive line for me to know about it because I don't track any of that. The reason I don't track any of it was is because that would take a whole full bore system and I'd have to be managing it all the time. I don't have time for that. So really what I do is provide you access to it if you pick up the phone and you convert and you sell, great. If you tell me about it, awesome. If you don't tell me about it, that's fine too. So here's our dial plan. So a phone call comes in, it goes on the main schedule. It says, are we open or are we closed or it's a holiday? If it's closed or a holiday, it gets this uh, voicemail. And then I go and check the voicemail daily, you know, if there's something there. If we're open, then it runs to um, my phone really quick so I can see that one's coming up. That's why... Um, so I can make sure I'm tracking it. And then it goes out to everyone so that it dials the entire team. And like I said, this one's just for tracking so I can see it. I'm not like picking it up first or anything. I'm not, uh, I'm not trying to do that. And you can only see it shows me for five seconds and it goes to everyone else. And then this thing will dial everybody's phone until somebody picks up. It, uh, it takes 120 seconds for it to go to voicemail after it hits this. So somebody would have to sit on the phone for 120 seconds and none of our staff pick it up before it goes to voicemail. So this gives a very good opportunity for the person on the other line to get a human voice and get whatever they're asking uh, answered. So I love that aspect. 
Okay, so like I said, um, we're looking to bring on new lender partners uh, uh, all the time. Um, I wanna show you the other benefit of what you get. So obviously we want to make sure that you are compensated and that you feel like you're getting good value. And so we put you on our Fitness Realty team page where people can shop for you. So you can see down here with our lender partners. So we've got Michelle Reed right now, Misty Sessions. We've got Chuck Olson on here. So there's a lot of room for people to come on board and be on this lender partner page. The reason that we like people getting on here as well is because sh people are shopping us online all the time. So they hit our team page quite frequently. So if your biography looks awesome and your headshot looks awesome, people will click on your info. They will try to get your info and they might reach out to you to, uh, directly. And once again, I don't track any of that. So if you feel like you get a lead from somewhere, it could have been from here because I just don't track where it comes from. Lastly, we get you on our uh, Fitness Realty Google page. So we put our um, products up here, which obviously our products are all people. So we have our lender partners here listed so people can see you everywhere. Okay, I think that's probably it as a nutshell on how our Google ads work. If you're interested in this, uh, you can always comment down below or reach out to me directly. Text me or call me anytime. My phone number is 801-891-5305. Uh, we are going to blow this up like crazy. One day I hope to hit um, probably like a $5,000 or $10,000 spend budget, uh, which I think would be amazing. One little last piece before I leave you. I actually track all of our social media presence and things everywhere. And so I'm just gonna show you what the last 12 months looks like. So we did about 443 impressions uh, across all of our platforms. Facebook was our biggest proponent of that, but this Google business profile, we did 100,000 impressions, people looking at our company on Google business. And a lot of that was when our Google ad was running properly. Like I said, it was broken for a little while. But when it was running properly, we were turning just so many Google business profile uh, looks and people were shopping our lender partners and our team. And so I know that I can provide a good value for you. It might not look like it, like upfront, you might get, you know, no deals for three months and you might get, you know, back to back a couple. So I don't, I can't promise anything there, right? The only thing that I can promise is you access to leads, access to my team, and access for me to put you all of our, our, our social media and Google my business and on our website. So anyway, uh, love you guys. And I hope this has been beneficial. Hopefully you can see the vision that I've got. And if it looks enticing to you, message me. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.